using my camera? How can I take pictures of this look if I don't have a camera? Are you ready to watch this video? Yo ho yo ho, a pirate life for me. That was me singing my man voice. So the first thing that we're gonna do, I'm going to apply Saint Tropez bronzer all over my face. I love this. This is the bronzing mousse. No, of course, get the net. You don't want to just have a white face. So we're just gonna let this dry in. Then I'm gonna apply a moisturizer, and we're gonna get started. I'm just gonna apply foundation. I have two different colors of Makeup Forever High Def. I'm going to apply the dark one on because he was tan, and so we want that same golden tan look, concentrating on the areas where the sun would hit your nose and the top of the cheek, and the eyelids will also get the forehead. You can also get the neck too, and the ears. This is just a concealer stick in a really dark color compared to my natural skin tone. You want to shade the sides of the cheekbones the temples of the face, down the sides. You also want to get above the chin and right beneath the lower lip to give it a more masculine look. And this will give you that really Johnny Depp chiseled look. I'm going to use some cream colors. This is a palette I have. This is from RCMA. It is the, uh, the Shinto palette. And I'm going to use a dark, one of the dark browns, just to shade. We're going to go to the curve of the chin right there and up under the cheekbones. Remember, corner of the mouth to the top of the ear. That is where everybody's cheekbone hollows would fall, the side of the face. And I'm going to go on the eyelid just a little bit with the brown and under. And then I'm going to take a little bit of a, a brown, kind of medium brown shadow. And I'm just going to kind of dab it onto the face because he kind of looked a little dirty. And so this is my fabulous eyeshadow dirty technique. The funny thing is, is I've done this look a lot for ads and movies, is this dirt look. You just take um, some dirty eyeshadow and a rough sponge or a little rag and just kind of stipple and press it onto the face. I'm going to put concealer on the lips too because his lips are pretty pale. When you're in the sun they usually get a little lighter. You can take blunt powder if you want to and go over the chin area where we curved right there and also along the cheekbones. Make sure you go all the way back to the hairline. You can go on top of the nose, the side of the nose, just so it looks a little bronzy and sun-kissed. Right there where the sun would hit him. Like that, and above the eyebrows too, the sun would hit there because they usually stick out a little more. Move this up. And now we're going to get our famous black eyeliner. I'm going to take Smolder from MAC, which is one of my favorites, and we're going to line the inner rims of the eyes, which was the classic. Ow! This is very sharp. I just bought this because I lost my other one. Going to go underneath the eyes just a little bit. And we're going to do on the tops of the eyes as well. Then you can just blend with your fingertip. Or a Q-tip, whatever you have around. And the messier you make it, the more Jack Sparrow it's going to look. So just kind of dab and mess it up. Same thing with the under eyes. Just kind of dab it and mess it up so it looks all glompy. Now we're going to do his eyebrows, which are very thick and very straight across. I'm going to take a medium brown, charcoal brown from MAC, and I'm just going to draw this line and try to make these look as straight on the top as possible and straight below. And they do go up more to angle in the front. So straight across, pretty flat, and then this is just going to slightly go down at the sides. Now we'll do this side. And of course, because they're man eyebrows, they're going to be a little thicker. Or if you're a guy and you already have thick eyebrows, just emphasize this with a pencil the size that they are. 
how we look a little bit dirty. We're going to also take, you can take any of your black shadows and dab it in at the lash line to, to give it extra pigment and extra staying power. This is Carbon from MAC, one of my all-time blacks. It is the deepest, darkest, inky black. I love it. And I'm going to go underneath the eye, too. So that we're looking real piratey and dirty. Now I'm going to get some spirit gum and show you how we're going to glue on facial hair. Aren't you excited? Before we do anything else, we're going to apply the fabulous Jack Sparrow wig set that somebody got at Disneyland. This is awesome. We're going to add a little more chiseling with some brown eyeshadow. This is a cool brown, kind of like a cool chocolate brown. This is charcoal brown from MAC. That way it doesn't look like red highlights. And we're just going to chisel out the hollow of the cheekbone right in there. Very Johnny Depp-ish. Now I know Johnny Depp had gold teeth, but I'm going to do it with black teeth. Why? Because I like black teeth. Don't you just love this look? I do. I can't smile and admire the beard. Um, you can get this at Cinema Secrets. <laughs> Cinema Secrets. I can't even look. I saw myself in the little cameras. I can't look. Um, you can, lots of hair in the mouth. You can get this at Cinema <laughs> Secrets talk. And um, it, you can get it at Halloween stores too, but um, you gotta dry your tooth off real well with, with a paper towel, and then you take this and you paint it on and you let it dry for a few minutes. You can't, uh, you can't uh, let your lip get on it, so you gotta wait some minutes. And then once dry, it's real minty, and then if you wanna get it off, you just brush your teeth, and it should come right off. I'm a hillbilly pirate! Yo ho! And now we're gonna glue the facial hair on. <laughs> I've eaten so much of this hair, I think I don't need no dinner. <laughs> oh, that sounds weird to go over the vocal cords. Oh man, it's glued on all funky. There's so much hair in my mouth. In my closet, but this is, this is what I find in my house. My neighbor is outside the window and can see me in here. This is so embarrassing, I'm gonna go hide. Where the heck is my tricorn? Has anybody seen my tricorn? What is a tricorn? It is the three-sided pointed hat that you wear! We'll do them up with eyeshadow. 